Hiya, Marco. Welcome back to Downton Football Club. When we picked a right wet day to do this, haven't we? Yes, right. Yeah, it's it's good to be back and uh, um, obviously a different uh, stadium than the one I was used to. Um, I had a little look at the, the houses that have been built down there as, as I came past off the from the railway station. But uh, no, really good to be back and. Uh, I remember my time at Darlington very, uh, very fondly. Yes, there were some great games, weren't there? And I think if uh, various people look at the huge number of goals he scored for us over 50 in two seasons, yeah. they'll be thinking about the hat trick against Exeter, for example. No, there were some good nights, and um, you know, I think we had some huge crowds, didn't we, for that level of football and lockouts, and, and you know, I think we were getting 8,000 gates sometimes, and. It was very exciting, and yeah, that that game against Exeter. I felt sorry for Exeter. I think they'd been up three times right. that season, yeah. they? and and got twice twice um, uh, postponed. So it was a, a strange evening, but a nice one for me. And uh, yeah, it was a, you know, obviously I think I got two or three hat tricks in the time, so it was an exciting time. You still collect the match board? We did do then. Yeah, they've got they're at home somewhere. I'm 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 not particularly uh, precious about things like that. So I think they're in the shed. I think in a box. So, uh, um, but yeah, it's you know I've got a few bits and pieces, but uh, I wasn't an avid collector of mementos. In the second season, we had to push towards the playoffs and, mm. uh, and promotion. Of well, we, we probably should we, have gone we, up, yeah. we were nailed on yeah. favourites that season. Yeah. But unfortunately, we missed out on the playoffs. An agonising mm. night at Wembley, and we're looking at the rain outside. And everybody always remembers the rain at Wembley that night. Well, it probably should have been called off. And, you know, I think it was, when you look back, it was a set of circumstances that was out of our control really and I think if it, England if it wouldn't have been a playoff game which was would have been very difficult to rearrange because I think the England game was the day after wasn't it on the Saturday which when no was it not West Germany was it not that's the last game that they played at Wembley England West Germany wasn't it I think. no it was I think they were playing Brazil the following right year. okay got that one wrong but yeah it, we we it probably would have been called off you know and, and if it had been a normal situation I remember in the first minute being clear through running through to the middle of the penalty box the ball was going to catch me up for me to just run on to and it stopped in a puddle in the D outside and you, you think this is Wembley I mean in, in those days you know all pitches are great now but in those days you, you used to look forward to playing at the best pitch in the country and uh, especially when you've played for Darlington for the season so it was a strange evening and uh, I think Peter Brewer lucky in a couple of occasions and then, you know, obviously uh, I just remember the shot I had right in the last couple of minutes which I thought was in with the goal how the keeper got that one I still still never know and so it was a, a disappointing end to what had been a very exciting season. I remember after the game when we chatted. Uh, Sorry guys, can you just I, stop? I, I, I remember after the game when we chatted. Uh, you said the sooner they pull Wembley down, the better because uh, yeah. everybody was so frustrated. Well, me personally as well because I think that was about the fourth time I'd been beaten there in the playoffs. So uh, it wasn't a happy hunting ground for me, and uh, yeah, I think that was my uh, my personal reaction. So uh, I've, I've never managed to get back. So <laughs> we don't know what it, if it was, if it's any luckier for me now. But uh, no, it was. I, it was one of them days, you know, when you look back on it, and we, we, everything we did went wrong that day. You know, from get we, you know, we went down on the train because we thought that would be a better way to travel, which you know most of the time is, but it was delayed. We got on a coach in at King's Cross, and uh, David had had the plan, which was probably a good thing to do to go and see the stadium. But we just got stuck in so much traffic that we got back to the hotel, sort of 45 minutes before we were having to leave for the game in the evening. So. Just lots of things went wrong, you know, the family coach was, was delayed and, you know, I remember my son was supposed to be mascot that night and he, he didn't actually get to the stadium in time to do it. So, you know, all them little things, you look back on it, it was just, I don't think it was ever meant to be, and unfortunately, but, uh, um, and unfortunately, you know, you look at what's happened to the club since then, it's something that's been, you know, really tough to take for the supporters, but... You know, from what I hear, the crowds are still coming strong at this level and hopefully they'll be back where they belong sooner rather than later.